Hey, good afternoon. Um, we're doing some painting around the house, and that's why you've got the mound of uh, bedding over here. So I apologize, it's in the video today, but you know, here's here's life. But I wanted to jump in. Mark 14 this weekend. Mark 14 is going to get us into Holy Week and, and really what's happening. But there's this interesting story at the beginning, starting in verse 3. And while he, Jesus, was at Bethany in the house of Simon the leper, as he was reclining at table, a woman came with an alabaster flask of ointment, of pure nard, very costly. She broke the flask and poured it over his head. There were some who said to themselves indignantly, indignant, indignantly, there's a word, why was the ointment wasted like that? For this ointment would have been sold for more than 300 denarii and given to the poor. And they scolded her, but Jesus said, leave her alone. Why do you trouble her? She has done a beautiful thing to me, for you always have the poor with you, and whenever you want, you can do good for them, but you will not always have me. She has done what she could. She has anointed my body beforehand for burial. And truly I say to you, wherever the gospel is proclaimed in the world, what she has done will be told in memory of her. So we have this moment where a woman comes up, anoints Jesus with this nard of, of a perfume, a very great fragrance. And think at this time, you know, Jesus spends most of his time outside, walking around, probably working up a good sweat. His feet are probably, you know, filthy from the road. And here this woman comes to give him something to smell good. And immediately the response is, well, she could have sold that and given it to the poor. That's too expensive. But she said, no, no, no. What she's doing is an act of faith for me. In my study Bible, it says this. A woman anoints Jesus for his burial, sacrificing expensive ointment out of love for him. The woman's clear focus on Jesus testifies to her devotion toward him. Her sacrifice reveals her deep love for him and sets a wonderful example for later Christians. Today, devote yourself to Jesus by prayer and service. He now stands at the Father's throne praying for you, serving as your Savior. There's an old hymn that goes along with this, and it says, I'll think upon thy mercy without ceasing, that earth's vain joys to me no more be pleasing. To do thy will shall be my sole endeavor, henceforth forevermore. What a great idea to say. Are we pouring out our good service for Jesus, a sacrifice for him? Let me read that those lines of that hymn one more time, and let me use them as prayer. So let's pray. I'll think upon thy mercy without ceasing, that earth's vain joys to me no more be pleasing. To do thy will shall be my sole endeavor, henceforth forever. Amen. We hope to see you this Sunday for Palm Sunday. We're excited for Holy Week coming up. Have a great week.